My name is Emil and I'm in northern Sweden in Lapland and there's gold everywhere and today I'm gonna get filthy rich It's the second week of July and there's snow up on those mountains. That's the Norwegian mountain ranges. I'm gonna try to find the stream somewhere in that forest behind that lake. Hooray! I came to the edge of the swamp and I found some uh, water. It's not running water and it's just around these massive boulders. There's no fine grained fraction, and no sand, no silt, no gravel for me to pan here. I think I can hear some running water around here somewhere, but it might just be the horseflies buzzing around me. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Reindeers have been here. I'm counting three big ones and two small. Yeah, they're off about two clicks to the north, but they're moving north northeast, so we're not gonna run into them today. I stumbled upon this beautiful, beautiful stream here with running water, but it's way too muddy. There's not gonna be any gold among that. So I will continue following the stream. I think where the stream hits the hills there, there's gonna be more sandy stuff. But here it's just jumping around these small puddles of water. We got this small, I don't know what to call them, islands that I'm puddle jumping from. Bounce, 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 bounce. Let's head that way. I came to a potential nature-made treasure vault. Right here, you see how the stream runs really, 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 really quick. But there, behind these, those big boulders, right there, the stream slows down and that's where gold gets accumulated. I'm gonna do a few trial pans here and see if there's anything of value. Lots of black, heavy, mineralized sand, but um, no gold in this one. I keep following the stream downstream and we're gonna find the gold eventually. I found this place where the stream has been hugging the hill and uh, there's probably been real big floods as well in spring. It's taking all the gold from the hills, it's getting deposited here and right here behind those big rocks where the stream makes a big S-shaped turn that's where the gold supposedly, theoretically, should drop out. I cannot use the big sluice, the blue one, because the water is not running so quick here. I need a little bit of agitated water for that. So let's do the bucket and pan method, the trial and tested one. No gold. Uh, next spot. I encountered some remains of human activity here in the forest. I'm not sure what these uh, satanic triangles are, what they have been, but they do look quite old. I'm saying five and a half years old, so the Devil worshippers are long gone by now. It's gonna be now or never. I found the most amazing spot. I will show you straight away. This here, 
this really shook my bells. I believe this is the outcrop. It could be a big boulder as well, but I'm thinking not because there's a similar one there. And if you follow the veins, the foliation, the strike, the dip of the veins, they're exactly the same here. So I'm thinking we're we're down to the real bedrock. Whoa, I'm excited. I'm excited. And what really triggered me was somewhere here, you see? Quartz. Quartz. Quartz attached to the bedrock. And more over here. And as every prospector knows, when you get quartz, you might get gold. Oh my god, what a place. And when the gold flows here and the rocks, then it's gonna get dumped in here between these two little rocks because they will act as barriers. That's the ultimate gold trap. Let's see if I'm right or not. Hard digging here. Very muddy, very muddy water. The gold is nine nine times heavier than the other rocks here, so it should be at the bottom. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Lots of metals. Nope, no gold. No gold in this pan. Oh man, there should have been gold in that last pan. But the True Vikings will be back next week with new adventures. So if you like this video, press that subscribe button and the bell so you'll get the notification next week. And remember to watch it and show it to your grandmother as well. See you next time, True Vikings, over and out.